Let's talk about prosperity or wealth, however you want to look at it. You can never create prosperity by talking or thinking about the lack of money. This is wasted thinking and cannot bring you abundance. Dwelling on lack only creates more lack. Poverty thinking brings more poverty. And gratitude thinking brings abundance. There are a few affirmations and attitudes that are guaranteed to keep prosperity beyond reach. Resenting other people for the amount of money. in your family has done this, you can open your mind. 
fully abundant, but only in its pristine expression. Where the abundance gets lost is in the craving and the seeking and the addiction to the idea of abundance. Because the idea of abundance is always limited. It's a big house, it's a big car, or it's this relationship, or it's that. When abundance in its fullness is the nature of the universe. Money is the symbol, and wealth is a state of consciousness. When you confuse the two, then you, you, you become a hoarder. You, you know, you hoard money, or you buy things that you don't need to impress people that you don't like. Uh, and you, you're constantly in a state of scarcity. Uh, and you think about money all the time. But if you're in a state of wealth consciousness, then money is one of its symbols. Okay. We have this escrow account with things that are already there for us. For us, what I would like to do is play a little game with myself. I would like to uh, achieve vibrational holding pattern to attract $128,000 in 21 days starting today. Would you guide me to release seeing any of the resistance that I have remained? Like, I, I believe it can be done. We will, and we, we know it can too, but we want to point out some things. You see, you are where you are relative to your vibration around money. You are where you are, and where you are has got to be all right. You are where you are because of the way you were raised, because of the way your mama felt about money, because of the way people in the neighborhood felt about money. You are where you are because of the television programs you watch, because of the friends you hang around with. In other words, you are where you are, and you didn't just get here today. You've been on the way to coming here. And so you are where you are for a variety of factors. And so you are where you are. We mentioned you are where you are. <laughs> you are. So now, fanning the flames of where you want to be doesn't change where you are. It just sets up a more awkward distance between where you are and where you want to be. That's the problem with setting a goal that you don't expect. In other words, when you say, I want more money to flow and I believe that it will and eventually I'd like to have ten times as much money as I have now. There's very little resistance in that statement. But when you say, I want $128,000 and I want it to come to me in 28 days, you are just asking for resistance because everything that you've ever learned about money and how fast it comes to you comes up and says, oh yeah, you're going to do that? You know anybody that's done that? Have you ever done that? You see? It's just like setting yourself up for a challenge that eventually you can talk down. It's like digging a hole and trying to climb out of it instead of just starting on even ground where you are. So, we would not guide you toward fast creation of dollars. We would guide you toward steady, constant improvement in your financial picture. And we would start by blessing where you are relative to money. I've been doing that, and it's happening, and I'm, I'm happy where, where I am. But I just kind of, I like giving myself challenges like that sometimes. But well, challenges can be good, and you have to decide, and you're the only one who can decide whether the challenge calls you or prods you. If it calls you, it's beneficial, and you can shorten the gap quickly. If it's prodding you, it's like nailing your feet to the floor right where you are. And so, what is it you want? $128,000 in what period of time? 21 days. And why? Um... When I'm aligned, I always see like 128 or some variation of it. My birthday is 128. And I've been seeing that a lot, and I just pick that number arbitrarily. But just. Um, Are you testing your ability or testing the universe's ability? In other words, is this sort of a put your money where your mouth is sort of thing? No. I, I so, mean, what I've, are you going to do with the money? I'm going to spend it. On what? <laughs> <laughs> On what? Um, camera equipment. Camera um, equipment? Okay. I just got back yesterday from Chicago from a photography workshop when we got to use all this high-end equipment. And it was so exciting to, to do the possibilities. 
all the tools, when I have the right tools, the ability to show my creative talent is so much more. And to deal with those powerful tools and to rub elbows with people who are accustomed to those powerful tools, I could feel my creativity just moving in leaps and bounds into new realms where they had not ever been before. I love this highly technologically evolved world that I live in, and I love the idea of all of these contraptions that are making their way to me. And it is not important to me how they get into my life. It was wonderful being in a workshop where I had access to them, and I loved having my appetite whetted. And now that I know that they exist, I have filled my vibrational future full of tools like that that I can feel making their way to me one way or another. And it won't matter to me if I buy them or if I rent them or if I inherit them or if someone lets me use them or if I attend a workshop. It doesn't really matter. I can feel these tools on their way to me because now that I know they exist, they cannot not come to me because nothing less than those will ever be tolerable by me. You cannot go back. Now I know that that exists. I must have that universe bring me that in the fastest possible way that you can bring it and I'm going to do my best to stay up to speed with it by remembering how much I liked it and how good I was at it and how much I learned with it and the effect that I got from using it and by studying how other people are getting I'm going to get online and see where these are I'm going to see if I can find work that other people are doing doing those tools I'm in a whole new realm I feel like a whole new person I'm not even the same person that was asking for whatever I was asking for yesterday whatever I was asking for yesterday is irrelevant to what I'm asking for today because what I'm asking for today is ringing my bells in ways that I don't ever remember my bells being rung. The universe brings to me this stuff in the fastest possible way and it doesn't really matter to me how long it comes because I'm feeling so good right now. It's hard to imagine that I could feel any better if I actually had the tools in my hand feeling this good. Oh, I'm in such a powerful place of expectation. I know that anything that I ever want will come to me in just this way. Your juices flowing, that's all. You cannot be excited about something and be in the state of resistance at the same time. It's a different vibration. And so we're not talking to you about moving yourself up from despair. You're nowhere near despair. You are in a place of impatience. You have been dreaming and launching and wanting. You're on the brink of all kinds of wonderful manifestations. Just get your juices flowing. And if you get your juices flowing faster than you're up to speed with, you'll feel it and you can slow it down. We really rev things up. And did you notice that we didn't rev them up right away? We revved them up after talking to a friend earlier. In other words, all of you are in much stronger place of vibrational expectation of dollars flowing into your experience now than you were at the beginning. You would not have been able to stand that. If we had come on that strong in the first minute of this workshop, some of you would have left the room. You could not have stood the energy that is flowing around the subject of money. Your vibrational escrow account has incrementally grown by two or three or four or five or six times just in that rampage that we just did. You are not in the same vibrational place relative to money that you were when you walked in this room today. You are in a different vibrational place, you see. But the question is not what we have brought you to in terms of your desire. The question is, where are you usually in terms of this vibration? In other words, now it's up to you to keep practicing these thoughts until these feel like normal thoughts to you. You just got to feel like this. What we are getting at is you reach the place where your expectation of well-being is such that you begin to get the sense that for you it's just a matter of pointing at something that you want because it's not a question of whether it will come it's a question of just choosing among of all of the possible things that you could point at and what you want to bring into your life now money becomes irrelevant it's how much room you have in your life how much time you have to enjoy it how much value it brings to you as you play with it in other words it's not about whether you can afford it or not because what comes to you is not about money it's about vibrational alignment you see so yes we can talk you into a place where you allow more money into your experience but what we really want you to do is take money out of the equation we want you to vibrate your way to such a fever pitch of expectation that all wonderful things flow to you as you deserve.